This is Battle for Alabaster, a survival horror board game set in Mike McVeigh's Sedition Wars universe. It is a science fiction setting, but not the dark setting of Warhammer 40,000, more of a hard sci-fi, such as Halo, Aliens, or the recent Gates of Antares. In this, one player takes control of the human vanguard, while another takes control of the strain, nanotechnology horrors that turn humans into alien monsters. We've seen this before in the film Aliens, and also Halo with the Flood, but we've never seen this on the tabletop, although I suppose the closest this will come to is Space Hulk. Mike was one of the main figure painters for Games Workshop in the 90s, and now produces his own range of miniatures with his company Studio McVeigh. These are stunning models, and so the chance to support this on Kickstarter was too good to miss. The fact that they threw in a few extras didn't hurt either. So in this video we'll take a brief look at the box and then all of the extras that we received over the last year. So this is the Sedition Wars main game. Okay. If we open it up it's quite a substantial box. Okay. To begin with there we have the rule book. Okay. This is full colour. Going through it backwards, but you can see there's the missions. All of our rules. All nice full colour, quite well illustrated. There we go. There's then cardboard game game pieces here which give us our, show us the alabaster facility. Obviously, we can see from the blood, someone's already having a rough time of it. These are all double-sided as well. And, as you can see, quite a good quality cardboard there. I think we'll survive quite a few games with these. There's a bag of bases. Okay, I don't know if you can make this out, but they're textured. So they represent the flooring of, um, of alabaster. There should be enough there for all of the models. There's a deck of stack cards. Okay, Captain Kara Black is one of the main heroes in the game. And these help us build our build our team. It's you build teams with point space like you would in a war game, but then you play a game very similar to Space Hulk. This is one of the largest strain models. There, quite a substantial beast. He's obviously very mutated. And this is a bag of the Vanguard figures. These are the humans. In fact, we can open this up. Well, there's Vanguard and Strain models in there. And just at this initial glance, the models, they're very nice. They they do seem to have quite a few, they need, look like they need quite a bit of cleaning up. They look like they've been ripped straight off sprues. Now I don't know if that will be an issue or not. Some green tokens to use in the game. And red and blue base markers. There's a set of eight dice. And then there's some larger strains, strain models there. Finally, we have there is some sort of drone and a few other of the human characters. Okay, so there's quite a bit in the box there. Now we'll take a look at the other parts. For supporting Kickstarter, because we help with that, there are a load of stretch goals. So we've got a load of extras on top of the Sedition Wars game. To begin with, there's this bag of models. These are just the standard game components, but a load more of them. Again, with the textured bases. We then got two sets of special Sedition War dice. I believe this is the Vanguard symbol on there. So there's six green clear dice. There's then a set of blue dice as well. In fact, looking at this, I think I've got the logo goes the wrong way around. I think the green were the strain, the blue is the vanguard. So they were just free. 
There's then a little Vanguard patch. I'll probably end up losing that somewhere. There was then the option for an additional campaign called the Lights Out campaign, which is a series of adventures played in the dark. And for those, you could buy extra models. So, these are the same Vanguard models we've seen, but they're done in a clear resin to represent their optic camo. And then for the strain, we have a set of glow-in-the-dark models as well. So the same models as the basic set, but these glow-in-the-dark. The second wave arrived with us last week. The first thing we got there is these. These are baby drones, baby AI drones for use in the game. They're basically models before they were going to be counters, but as a result of Kickstarter, they were able to sculpt them. These, I don't know how clear you can make these out, these are little bone crabs. These are basically skulls with uh, with bony legs on. Very the thing. There's then one of the extra characters is Cyber Akosha. It's a very anime character. It's got two pistols and a sword. Lot they did lots of bonus characters, and they were all obviously inspired by various science fiction ones. Here. I don't, you can't really make much detail out, I'm afraid. But this is um, this is Riddick. Although, for this, he's called Keegan Kaur. There's a nice pilot model there. Armed with a very large spanner. There's a biohazard suit there. This is Gnosis armor. Gnosis armor is rather powerful. Exoskeleton there. And then an aphid frame. We'll show you some pictures after this of what these of what these will look like when they're assembled. But an aphid frame is an exoskeleton. I have an exoskeleton there. And then there's this. This is the resin Kara character. Now, I really like this one. The, um, like I say, I've had some Studio Mote models before, and I've always found the detail to be excellent, very sharp. And if I'm honest, I'm slightly disappointed with the uh, Sedition Wars miniatures, because the grey plastic doesn't seem to hold the detail quite as well. But this resin is absolutely fantastic. I would add, I'm still happy with Sedition Wars, as I've got an absolute load of models. Indeed, the box is full of miniatures as well. Okay, then, as well, and I thought this was quite excellent customer service, the Kickstarter was running late, which is to be expected when you support a Kickstarter, and so they added an extra figure here. This is a chap in a trench coat, firing two pistols, running forward. It's a very nice model, and we got that absolutely free. So thank you to Studio McVay for that. We then got more cards for the game there. And the finally of the standard stuff was a painting DVD. And this Mike McVeigh shows you how to paint your Sedition Wars miniatures. I think this might also be available to download for free if you do buy the box afterwards. These were some extras that I was able to purchase with the um, at the same time as the Kickstarter. Here we have a set of T a THI suit. A THI suit is basically a stylized set of Terminator armor. That's probably the easiest way to describe it. This is Niven Banks. Now these characters, you get both the strain version there, so the mutated version, and the original version. Niven Banks is uh, inspired by Isaac from Dead Space. Okay, this is the crew of the Calamity, which basically is the crew of the Serenity. Um, okay, now they are. Now I can't talk much about this because, despite having had the Firefly box set for several occasions, I've not actually managed to watch it. So uh, I get, get teased quite often by my friends for that one. But then, what's the point of watching something if I know there's not a second series? Gutting. Okay, this is the character Hexen. Hexen is inspired by Caprica 6 from Battlestar Galactica. Okay, this is Ramirez. Ramirez is inspired by Vasquez from Aliens. You can see there, I hope you can make that out. It's a very large gun. And then... Again, Vasquez plus the strain version. Okay, and lastly, this is Susan Banks. Susan Banks, sorry, not Susan Banks, Susan Ridley. 
Susan Ridley is clearly Ellen Ripley from Aliens. And there she's carrying a Newt character. And of course when they mutate, they mutate into a hybrid of the two of them. Okay, this is the Sedition Wars terrain set. Okay, this is made in plastic. I've not opened it yet, I'll open it later. And we'll probably be doing a, uh, a full review of these. Just like we'll do a more in-depth view of the contents of Battle for Alabaster once I'm ready to get them glued together and painted up. There's lots of small bits and I don't want to lose anything at the moment. Here you can see the terrain packs, you get various doors, lots of other bits of scenery, some sentry guns and then some alien pieces. I'm fairly sure the strain pieces are going to end up somewhere in my Tyranid army but I'll show you those once I've done it. So thank you very much for watching our review. I hope you've enjoyed it and as I say we'll follow this up with more in-depth reviews and then please take a look at our other Toys in the Hood videos on YouTube.